Azure Gleam. Reunion at the Fortress City. The Kingdom Army crushes the Western Lords, and with them, the budding civil war. But amidst the chaos, Adrestia strikes at Aryan Road. Dimitri marches on the fortress city at once and challenges the Emperor herself to save those trapped within the Silver Maiden's walls. Let's reacquaint ourselves with the situation. Our forces have already pulled out of Arendelle territory and withdrawn to the fortress city of Aryan Road. The same city which finds itself now besieged by the Imperial Army. Most troubling, Your Majesty. The Knights of Saros dispatch their very best to the scene, but they find themselves at the sword end of the Emperor's personal guard. Still, the Citadel will not fall easily. The stalemate could continue for some time yet. Can we really afford to wait, though? Aryan Road's supplies have got to be running thin by now. If we go without proper preparation, the Imperial Army will simply crush us. Agreed. We should be using the time we have to strike in a manner most favorable to our situation. What we need to do is sever the Imperial supply chain. Then, overwhelm and exterminate the withering remains of Edelgard's army. Hold on. You want to win the whole war in one go? Indeed I do. We have been gifted the opportunity of a lifetime, and I do not intend to let it slip through my fingers. It will be a pincer attack, with the fortress at the Empire's front and our battalion at their rear. Even with their larger numbers, we will hold the advantage. All the more so with the Knights of Saros in charge of defending Aryan Road. And even if the Emperor herself escapes, we'll have still dealt a huge blow to the Empire's military. Oh, I feel nervous all of a sudden. I never expected we'd reach a decisive battle like this so soon. Will we truly be able to win? We can do this. I know we can. The terrain here is in our favor. As long as we press that advantage, we'll come out on top. Let us rally the troops, Your Majesty. Yes. Onward. To victory. There we have it. The Empire and the Kingdom finally squaring off in broad daylight. What a fascinating development. And a troubling one. I am well acquainted with that look of yours, Claude. What could you be scheming this time? If I recall, you made a similar face the other afternoon, when we swept aside the Imperial Army ourselves. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I'm just contemplating the fate of the Alliance the only way I know how. Don't worry about him, Lawrence. He doesn't always look it, but Claude takes this stuff seriously, I promise. She's right, you know. I'm constantly thinking about our next plan of action. Thankfully, the Empire's turned its beady little eyes away from us for now. It seems they're focusing all their attention on the West. And we owe that title shift to Duke Gloucester's feigned betrayal. The former Duke Gloucester, I mean. Thanks to him, we managed to run the Empire clean out of Leicester. But there's more to their strategy shift than that. Do you speak of the unrest within the kingdom? Such internal struggles would certainly leave them rather defenseless in the wake of an attack. But the situation may change anew at any moment. We mustn't grow complacent. If they emerge victorious against the kingdom, it is difficult to imagine what course of action the Imperial Army would take next. Yeah. Whatever happens in this battle, it'll shape the future of Fodlin for years to come. I might be brilliant, but even I'm having trouble predicting who's going to come out on top. But whoever it is, I bet anything we'll need to strike a deal to keep them at bay. I guess we should be ready for either outcome. Oh, and Lawrence, 
I'll be asking all sorts of little favors from you, so plan on being busy for a long while. If needs must, I would do anything for the Alliance. We can't stand in the crossfire between the Kingdom and the Empire forever. It's high time the Alliance grabbed the reins of history and started steering in our own direction. Yes. Aryan Road's defensive capabilities have weakened considerably. Do you still doubt me, Your Majesty? After I was so kind to sell you that delicious little tip about the secret passage. Sneaky little whelp. I never uttered a word of that to you. No. But the Count did. I won't be sharing under what circumstances, though. I cannot overstate what a boon it is to have members of House Row aiding us during our siege of the Silver Maiden. Though it's truly a shame we could not stop the Kingdom from reclaiming your territory. The fault is mine. Such stumbles would never have occurred had I not faltered on the Lester front. Count Row swore his allegiance to the Empire, yet our failure in battle granted our enemy free reign of his land. Which is exactly why we've come to take it back. The internal strife plaguing the kingdom leaves them nigh defenseless. We cannot let this opportunity pass us by. Indeed. Hubert would never let us hear the end of it were we to overlook this chance. At least he finds himself busy with the Alliance for now. Your Majesty, we've received word that the Knights of Seros have been dispatched to Aryan Road. Few in number as their force may be, they are still some of the finest knights in all the continent, and well suited to a defensive struggle. I suggest we settle this matter at once, before the Kingdom's main army arrives to further bolster their fortification. Lord Gwendal, Yuri, this is why your actions will be so vitally important to our effort. Yes, Your Majesty. Preparations are already complete. Follow me. I will escort you to the passageway. As long as I receive my pay, you'll get whatever effort your gold can buy. I will not allow things to end like this. No. This battle shall be the prime occasion to atone for my mistakes. What a faithful man you are. Never flagging in your duty to that wretched count. I suppose House Row must want its territory back quite badly, <laughs> considering the fortune they were willing to pay me. I see you've not lost that insolent mouth of yours. You should have refused the offer if you found it distasteful. I enjoyed dealing with that decrepit old fool as little as you did. But he still paved my path into the Academy. I've never liked the thought of owing him a favor, and this will finally settle our account. Now then, I should be off. Yuri! What is it, old man? Spit it out. I pray for your safety. Do what you will. I only pray you find a suitable place to breathe your last. Bring your company over to the Western Wall. I'll defend the interior myself. Yes, Lady Catherine! Been a while since I've had the pleasure of watching you work, Catherine. <laughs> I could say the same of you. It's been, what, two years now since you left the Knights? You picked some time for a reunion. The Kingdom called and I answered. That's it. Besides... Uh, what? If you got words for me, then spit them out. Words, huh? You know, 
I wasn't sure what to expect when I heard there was an ex-bandit playing general over here. But your orders are precise, and you have some serious tactical know-how. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were a trained leader. Sometimes even bandits have great commanders. Not often, but I've seen it happen. <laughs> Our lands were always under siege by Srang forces. Got defense strategies practically beaten into me when I was a little kid. You really are the former heir to House Gautier, then. I heard a lot about you when I was a kid myself. I'd always hoped to spar with you one day. Never thought you'd end up disowned. Cram it. I'm the one who cut ties with that rotten house of mine. You've done well to stay alive since. Yeah, because I've got a purpose now. I'm gonna show the world that if I act all proper, even a crestless loser like me can accomplish whatever he wants. Ugh, made me sick to my stomach hearing that drivel. Even sicker coming from some weak-willed king with a crest who's been spoon-fed his whole life. Yet here you are, fighting in his army. And well at that. Yeah, turns out the king's not the only weak-willed one around here. You know what they said to me? That I wasn't going to be held back by crests anymore. That the only thing tying me down now was my own past mistakes. Now look at me, square at the top of a squad full of crest bearers and none alike. But ridiculous as it sounds, part of me's actually come to like it. Lady Catherine, our enemies are within the fortress. But... All of the gates were sealed. This is Aryan Road we're talking about. There's probably more than a few hidden passageways we're not aware of in here. The former lord of this fortress, Count Roe, fell in battle. But I doubt he was the only one familiar with the secrets of its construction. Then we'll have to fight them off until reinforcements arrive. I will cut these trespassers down in one fell swoop. We don't even know how many of them there are yet. <sighs> Looks like I'm finally settling my debts. Such a bleak outlook will only consign you and your soldiers to defeat. Why you... <sighs> Forget it. Look, if you want to make it out of this alive, you'll listen close. A fortress like this has always got a secret passage. There's only a few places it could be. The fighting has reached Aryan Road's inner walls. The enemy must have entered through some unknown route. Eh, I'm glad they're already in. Just means more chances to show what I can do. I appreciate your confidence. Is everyone prepared? Today, we will deal a decisive blow not only to the vile Emperor, but to all of Adrestia. And I will be depending on each and every one of you to do it. Now, with me! Do my best. Understood. If that's what you want. Please hurry. Not a problem. I've got this. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. We must. Shall we? Let's give it a. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of- Begin! 
the skies. Let's begin. I awaited this moment. The enemy used a secret passage to infiltrate the fortress and have already engaged Catherine and her unit. And let us help them at once. We cannot afford failure. Arian Road is too valuable. So they really did find a back way in. Seems like the main gate's still closed. Thankfully, the controls aren't too far off. They've stationed units around the controls for the gate. We'll need to fight our way past them if we're to have any hope of opening it. This part of the is a blessed step. That's... Shamir! We must assist her! We will proceed as planned. I'll handle this. This is where I die. Not the most comfortable place for a material sleep. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Take a breather. Shamir is in dire trouble. We must help her at once. You came for me. I guess I should return the favor. Let's begin. It's time. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. We're keen to force it. Request reinforcements from the main army. I've got you now! Stop the messengers! If they send in more troops, we'll never reach the main hall! Personal guard is pretty tough. I'm almost impressed. Oh. Wait. Go rest. You can leave this. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. We will. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. To us. Appreciate it. Um. One of the Gautier friends. Huh? Don't tell me you actually want to fight. I'm a lot of so stupid family. All my teeth out for that. Well, isn't someone feisty? Fine. Show me what you can do. Wanting Gwendol are fighting. It's probably for the best that I don't go help him up. Not a problem. I've got this. Our order I'll handle this. Perhaps, but we can't defend it. Let us open this gate and hurry to the clone's aid. So we have to open this gate before we can open the one at the main. Not a problem. I've got this. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Let's begin. Allow me to help. Hear you loud and clear.
Leave the backup to me. Begin the operation. I have your back. Inhale? That's oh, annoying. True to its fame, the Silver Maiden's arsenal is robust indeed. There. No reinforcements should be showing up now. Do not let a single one in! Let's start the attack. This stronghold will fall! Begin. The Sky Spirit. My thanks. Let's begin. The enemy stronghold will be ours. You're through! We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our life. My turn. Grant them no mercy. Not a problem. I've got this. Shall we? Let's give it a sh I've awaited this moment. That's one. Not bad. But not good enough to be. Well, it might be different if you had a crest. But there's no way I'm losing to some crestless old man. <laughs> You sure know how to talk, but can you bite? Let's find out, shall we, Miklon? It appears we're in time. We will help bolster the main hall. Wow. Let's begin. It's time to move. Begin. The Sky Spirit, watch- Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Not a problem. I've got this. The old man's here. I guess it really never hurts to ask. Let us take this stronghold. Stronghold will be ours. Let's 
Start the attack. Grant them no mercy. Hear you loud and clear. <laughs> Shall we? Come with me, everyone. Begin the operation. Our orders are... should be one more device to open the gates to the main hall. We'll need to locate it. You really don't hold anything to that. It's time I put you out of your misery. <laughs> what a joke. Still, at least I bought us all the time we needed. True. I didn't expect you to give me that much trouble. You put up a fine fight, well, or should I say, Sir Mikla? I may have disowned him as my son. Begin. The sky speed. Let's begin. It's time to move. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Our orders are clear. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure. Not a problem. I've got it. Shall we? Let allow but I me. see no reason not to avenge you. <laughs> Can't believe he kept that many forces away from the main hall. That brother of mine really was something. Everyone prepare to fire! We'll give him hell! We won't get very far like this. We need to shut those weapons down first. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure. Not a problem. I've got this. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Begin. The skies. Let's begin. It's time to move. We will proceed as planned. You've got spirit, don't you, Karen? I'm impressed. That's big talk from someone who looks like he's got one foot in the grave. Oh no, Catherine! We must go to her aid! Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Not a problem. I've got this. <laughs> now the stronghold is ours. Let's turn these things. I see the whelps are all here. Think any of you can kill me? Hands off. <laughs> This stronghold will fall! There. Sorry you had to come back me up. But we managed. Thanks to you. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. I've awaited this moment. Start the attack. That should put a stop to the attacks, too. Begin. The Sky Spirit, what? Let's begin. It's time to begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Hear you loud and leave the backup to me. Shall we? 
Let's give it a shot. Come on. We have to defend it. Take a breather. Perfect. Now the trap should be disabled too. Well, I can do this. All that's left is to invade the main hall. Killing a man like you, yet I cannot allow you to live on. As a light of house room, I'll take back my lord's castle if it costs me my life. Yo, wait A knight with no lord to serve faces adversity indeed. I guess I really dragged you down there. Thanks for the help. You like that? Take this! Support! A large Imperial force is advancing on the Aryan Road perimeter. And I bet the Emperor is with them. It's our move, Lord. We will not get the force back. All forces, move to intercept! You should know that this fortress is one fun surprise after another. Well, would you look at that? A hidden staircase. Yeah? Not tough! Tech opened another secret passage. Not a problem. I've got this. Our orders are clear. Begin. The sky. Let's begin. It's time to move. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Time to go to work. Let me show you how it's done. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of hear you loud and clear. I might just be able to help. I'll Whoever that this. is must be quite familiar with the construction of this place. Someone from House Row. Oh, then maybe we can persuade him to join our side. Orion Road is a key position for us. We must retake it, even if we suffer losses in the process. believe I got myself dragged out here. If they get the main hall, we'll lose the whole battle. Plus, we've got to protect the strongholds all around it, too. Join me, Sylvain! Come on, partner! Not your day, huh? Do you have to call me that? This ends here! I knew it. You're from House Road. We sure could use you on our side. What do you say? Well, 
when you put it back. I guess I would. We will proceed as planned. We must. Let's begin. It's time to move. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. I prefer not to get butchered. Prepare a volley of arrows. Show them the results of your training. Hit them hard and fast! Someone else have handled this? Begin the operation. Our order. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. I've got this. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Time to go to work. Let me show you how it's. My turn. What am I even doing here? Oh, hey, Petra. Sorry, but could you try not to kill me? Then you should surrender prior to your death. You think this rickety little stronghold will slow me down? Don't make me laugh. Let's start the attack. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Shall we? Let's give it a sh time to go to work. Let me show you. In it now. Yeah. Who knows if I can even hold out until your majesty gets you. <laughs> Time to go to work. As they say, two swords are better than one. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. On to the They'll harm you. Next one. Wow, I have a lot to learn from you. I'll be jumping out here. I'm not ready to die yet after all. I am on heaven. Imperial Minister of Domestic Affairs. My reasons for being here are my own. No sense in giving myself to you. I saw the trees. Defense. one. That's a huge relief. Well, that's not. It's the Vanguard commander's dealt with. The question now is, where is Edelgard? We will crush the Kingdom Army and seize Aryan Road once and for all. Forward!
This battle shall determine the fate of the Western Front. We must show them the might of the Empire. Again. It's time to move. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our own. Time to go to work. Let me show you. I won't let anyone near this stronghold. You got my back? You're in good hands. Yeah. Let me out. <laughs> nothing more to say. This ends now. Suppose it does. Let us finish this. Once this battle is over, just cover you. Ferdinand von Eyre, hero of a dream. It's been a wild cut. You know, it's not too late for you to come back to the Empire. What do you say? I am wishing this was a Take a breather. Not a problem. I've got this. But I will not turn my post a second time. I am fighting with pride as the future queen of Bridget. I won't fail! This ends here! We have not yet reached our goal. Continue the advance. Out of the way! This stronghold will fall! Unfortunately, begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work. Shall we? Let's give it a... Let's begin. It's time to move. I really do have quite a lot to live for. So I must take my lead. But revenge will be mine. I live for this. It's gone. I would have liked to take him out here and now, though, considering how... It's 
will take more than this to stop me. Yeah? I snap of our trance. I live for this. Try not let it go to waste. <laughs> <laughs> Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Let's begin. It <laughs> Read me my last words, or let me go. Is that all? I'll handle this. Take this! It seems you are the victor in this fight. I bid you farewell. No escape! Indeed, this moment will be the doom of you both. <laughs> Tallest. Dear Edelgard, it has been far too long. Is it so? Have you really found an ally in Dimitri? What lie is this? So you are not allies? That makes more sense. I can't imagine you joining forces with the man who killed your father. <coughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> 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 If what you say is the truth, if this man murdered my father, then you and I have much to talk about. Till then, nobody lays a hand on you. I'm all right. Really. No, you're not. And I'm not gonna let you die here, okay? I promised you, didn't I? By your side. Always. This wasn't so much effort. I won't let myself stop. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> I think I've learned something new. No, this is not my peak. Your Majesty, the Imperial Army makes to retreat. As for that monster, 
It's disappeared. Understood. After what happened to Edelgard, I dare say they had little choice. We must treat your wounds, Your Majesty. They will only worsen without proper rest. You needn't worry about me. The Empire is on the back foot. This is our chance. Secure Aryan Road at once! Yes, Your Majesty. Edelgard called my father's killer Tallis. Hey, Dimitri. I didn't catch more than a glimpse of the guy, but something's not sitting right with me. His power was so familiar. Do you think he's another one? Like Tomas? And like me? How am I connected to them? Just what is this power I have? I understand your concern, but my thinking remains unchanged from two years ago. Whatever the truth of your abilities may be, I trust you, and I will continue to do so. I only wish I had more to say than that. My apologies. Still, if your power truly is the same as that of Tomas or this Talus, then we may find that the questions hanging over the two of us share a single answer. Well, what do you mean? Edelgard said it was Talus that murdered my father. Of course, it is the peak of folly to take an enemy's word at face value. But if she spoke true, then neither the Western Lords nor the Empire are the root of this strife. Another faction skulks in the shadows of Fodland, bending matters to their will. And if we suppose Cornelia was party to Talas and his dark schemes, her actions become all the more explicable. I alone must bring light to this darkness. You're doing it again. You don't hold a monopoly on revenge, you know. Or on truth-seeking, for that matter. I need to know what happened, too. I need to face the reality of my past. I'm in, too. I want my father to finally have closure. I know I don't have the same kind of shared history all of you do. But I do share your desire to know the truth, both about myself and everything else. Yes. Yes, you're right. Forgive me. For the time being... <sighs> Dimitri... We have defended the fortress ably, but lost countless capable officers and soldiers in the process. Even I will need time to recover before I can wield my lance anew. Once we've secured the Silver Maiden, we'll return to the capital. Edelgard. Are you certain? Most. Adrestia is yours to command in the Emperor's stead. None remain who can stop your ascension to the peak of this empire. And what says Her Majesty? Nothing at present. A grave injury suffered during the Siege of Aryan Road has left her unable to speak. Come now, Duke. Haven't you always dreamt of saving your dear empire in its time of greatest need? Hmm, yes, uh, you have a point. I will take up arms to solve this crisis. Under my rule, we shall crush the kingdom and alliance both, and unite all of Fodlin beneath the ever-majestic banner of Adrestia. The unfulfilled ambition of countless emperors past will be made manifest by none other than myself. Ludwig von Eyer, savior of the Empire. <laughs> then we will lift you up from the darkness. 
Until the day you inevitably stumble back down. Having driven off the Empire and defended Aryan Road, Fargus gains a distinct advantage on the Western Front, while the indisposed Emperor retreats to her palace in Enbar. Capitalizing on Edelgard's condition, control of Adrestia is wrested away by the now regent Ayer. However, the citizenry grows quickly resentful of his brutal manner of governance.